What? Oh my god, I love you. <laughs> Hello, humans. So, this video is very exciting because, fingers crossed, by the end of this video, we should have power. And we should have electricity in the bus, and I'm so freaking excited. Are you excited? I would use more words if my throat didn't hurt as much as it did. Yeah, Jacob's throat hurts, so we're making him some tea, and then we're gonna get to work. So he is very excited, he's just inside excited. Ugh. Because he can't vocalize his excitement, he's okay. But I'm so excited. Okay, so we, right now, haven't done... Jacob started doing some wiring, but not much. Uh, we're just gonna get to work and we'll show you guys when it's done. When it's all wired up and then we'll explain everything and... Yeah. Fingers crossed we have power by the end of this. Alrighty, so we are doing... What are, like what is this called? Like we're just building the wires. Is what you said? That's what I would say. So we gotta like put the wire lugs onto the wires and then put heat shrink around that so that it all stays all nice and tight. We have to use solder. We're using a blowtorch. I don't really know. I'm just the helper in this situation. Jacob is in charge. Uh, so we're just gonna film it. I might end up doing a voiceover of what we're doing. If I don't do a good job explaining right now. But Jacob right now is just like stripping the end of the wire. Pretty yes. st pretty yes. standard stuff. Because we're now electricians. Mm -hmm. We're not electricians. We are not professionals. But maybe this will be helpful. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, it's warm. <laughs> yeah, it's like a beauty YouTuber showing off my wire. Uh, so he just like stripped this and these are all the copper wire right this is copper yeah <laughs> what most if not all wires copper wire i it's the, i'm not an electrician it's one of the best conductors so basically we're taking this and making it look like this solder is in like comes in like these little wire like rolls of wire oh my god why wouldn't it focus focus okay wire and we just fold it all up and we're gonna melt it down using a blowtorch who knew? Electricity required fire. I don't know. Seems a little weird, but okay. You ready? All right, vice grips for safety. Okay, so we just dunked it in cold water. When the solder was solidified, we can dunk it completely and then pour the water out and the solder stays I in the thing. I wonder if you can show them what it looks like inside. I don't know if it'll... Focus. That yellowy, greeny stuff is the solder, and it's solidified. So now, since we dunked it, oh, now we're at it. Okay, since we dunked it in the cold water, now we can like handle the uh, wire lug, so Jacob can put the wire in it safely without burning his little thingies. Mm. I want it to be like this. This part is tricky business. I don't know. No, I got it. <gasps> Yay! All right. There's still. Okay, so now we have to warm the solder back up. So this is what it looks like. So now we have a wire with two wire lugs. Look at us go. Mm -hmm. We're going to repeat this process a, a bunch of times. So, so many times. And we will get back to you when it's all done. Alrighty, we have to call it a day because Jacob is going to pick up some countertops off Facebook Marketplace. And I need to go to Target and then go home and walk Winnie. But this is what we've got so far. So this, we just did a fuse. All of this is connected, this is connected to this. Oh, focus, focus. Yay! Right now it still looks like a mess of wires. I still don't fully understand it, but Jacob says everything looks great. Everything makes a fun beep when we put the multimeter to it, and that means it's good. So, tomorrow we're gonna finish wiring everything together, and then probably Monday we'll get everything into the bus and wired to the solar panels and 
fingers crossed we'll have power like oh my god that seems insane to me like that's crazy but yep we'll see you tomorrow with more wiring how you doing today jacob mm. well, all right my throat still hurts jacob's throat still hurts and he looks a little disheveled and that is a-okay his hair is a mess but he's still cute <laughs> uh, so we left off yesterday um with some of the wires prepped and connected and stuff today the goal is to finish getting all the wires ready and get basically get the whole system ready to get put into the bus that is the goal for today so we better get working we're gonna get working um i didn't film at all yesterday because it was just pretty much loss after loss after loss um so basically we have the Renergy 2000 watt inverter. And you need this big honking wire for it, right, Jacob? Right? What wire? What gauge is this? Yeah, uh, hold on, let me see. It's honking. Honking big. Let me cut off all the parts. Oh, wait. It is a 6AWG three stranded wire. Yeah. So, right, you're like, okay, that's, th you bought the exact wire, can't possibly be that hard to wire up. Wrong. So wrong. Wrong. Every other thing, so simple. We, uh, I showed you the technique, we went with how we wired up all the other wires. Like, everything is wired up, except for this, because these are the tiny ass holes you have to get these t big ass wires into. <sighs> And it's really difficult to figure out. Jacob and his dad figured out one way, but it wasn't a very structurally sound way. And one of them broke. So now we have to figure out how to make a better version. And we're gonna explain, once we figure out how to do it, we're gonna explain it to you. Because when Jacob tried to figure out how to do this, he was doing a lot of Googling. And basically everything he found was- everyone You just would, wire it. But everyone who spoke more of it was like, the inverter is great until you have to wire it. Something like that, yeah. Because it's really hard to get these big wires into these small holes. So, we're going to take some time, figure that out, and then we'll get back to you with our technique, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But everything else is wired up. Everything else is really ready to go. It's just this gosh darn inverter. Alrighty. So this is the old one. Sorry. This is the old one that Jacob and his dad came up with. And then this is the new one that we just made. And this one is a little broken. So we're going to make another one of these. And we're going to show you guys the process. We're hoping this... So far all the connections are good. And we think it's going to work. So we're just crossing our fingers and toes. Because this has been really stressful. <laughs> Alright, so we're using... Parts from the offset tongue lug. So... We're using the the tongue of the offset tongue lug. It's basically two parts, that's the other Because, thing. so we would, we tried just using the whole offset lug thing, but the wire doesn't fit in this thing, in the little box. So we're using this and we're just shaving it down. Jacob's gonna um, shave the edges down Oops, so that it fits so. It's really hard to tell how much to shave down it is, but it is smaller, so it fits in these little boxes. So Jacob's going to do that. So come yes, back when I you're done. Yes. And Jacob's dad cut us. He had some copper. Um... Is this pipe or what? what is this, Jacob? It is pipe. It's copper pipe, and his dad cut it down for us just into the sections that were the right length. So basically, this acts as like the rest, is gonna act as like the rest of the lug. So once it's shaved down, we'll show you the next step. All right, so this has been shaved down. And next, what we're gonna do, oh, I put the wrong thing down, okay. So next we're soldering this and this together so that it sits, which way are we sitting it? That way. This way. So it sits like this. 
like glass. So what we, this was my idea, FYI. That was a smart one. I know. So I'm wrapping it in solder so that we get solder on both the top and the bottom. All right, now we heat it up. So next we're just cooling it off with water. So now it's all put together. Let's go put the wire in it. All right, so now we're basically just crimping it. So we put it on. Hold the camera. Yep. Okay. See? So now. It's as far as it will go on. I need to make these bigger. So now we're just crimping it as if it was the thing you crimp normally. So now we're gonna put more solder in it just to make sure it's a really, really, really good connection because that's kind of the most important thing. What does your dad say? You need as many points of contact as possible? Yeah. His dad keeps reminding us you need as many points of contact as possible basically because like there's a thousand little wires in there so you want to make sure all of them are connected, I right? Just, yeah. So now Jacob's gonna check the connection with the multimeter. Continuity test. Continuity test. Okay, so now we'll just sh heat shrink it. Yeah. So we're not gonna redo the other one because it still structurally seems okay. While the other one is a different method, it's, it hasn't broken. If it breaks between like now, the time we move this into the pot, and by the time we move, we will redo it. But thankfully, this has worked, and fingers crossed. Crossed. Fingers crossed and knock on wood that we don't have to refix the other one because honestly we just want it to, this all to be wired up. And look how tiny these screws are. Like they're so small. Like I Jacob when Jacob tries to do it, his like Jacob's fingers are so big it's very funny to watch him try and do them. And even I have trouble and I got I got tiny hands. Yeah, these things are small. So wait, tell them which colors are which for us. So, as far as I'm aware, there's a few different colors that are standard in all the world of electricity for neutral, ground, and live or hot. Neutral for us is white, and I think that's usually the rule. Ground varies. I've seen some ground, especially in breaker boxes, be just copper wires, but ours is green in this case, which makes it really easy to remember. Green for ground. Yeah. And black is hugely always hot or live. I've also seen black and white switch, so there's a few different combinations, but this is one of those standard ones. We just decided what we basically just chose. I looked it up. <laughs> oh, a uh, very quick important message about our inverter here. Um, in the instruction booklets, I'm not sure if it's just this 2000 watt or if it's all Renner G uh, based inverters but they have bonded the neutral and ground terminals, so continuity will occur But if you tap the green one to the white one, or if you basically put, here, I'll show you right now, actually. So I forget what the point of bonding is, but it's the thing they do. We did it in our breaker box, so if I touch the other two terminals together, there's continuity. At first we thought something went wrong, but that's actually normal for this um, inverter. <laughs> Done. Woo! So now I'm going to do like the fifth continuity test just to make sure. So I'm going black or live to black. That works. Now I'm going to go to green and green. That works. And white to white. Good. All right. This means, right, that we can do our final step, which is wire our breaker box. And then we can put everything in the bus, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was so unenthusiastic. I know. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to quickly wire up our breaker box. After a quick snack break, because I need... After a quick <laughs> snack break... I need it. We bought Girl Scout cookies from some of Jacob's students today, so we'll probably have some of those. Yeah, but we'll get back to you once everything is in the bus. Alrighty. One, I apologize for the somewhat bad lighting and angle, but the bus is a little cramped right now, and this is pretty much the only place we can film. <laughs> film okay so 
This video was supposed to be a full video on how we installed our electrical system. <laughs> but then somebody messed up. It was me. I'm not gonna point fingers. I am, it was me. But I'm pointing my finger. It was me. And we, okay, I would like to, he is giving me full permission to put him on blast like this. Yeah. I made fun of him and I was like, tell me when you want me to stop. He has yet to tell me to stop. So when we ordered our invert, not our inverter, our charge, charge control. controller, I wanted the one that Renergy recommended for the size system we were getting. Yes. Jacob saw this one that we got, which is the Rego. Rego and liked that it was pretty much just a plug-in and it had Bluetooth. So we could read what it was, Yes. The, all the data that was coming in basically. And in our relationship, when there is a differing of opinions like that, we usually just go with whoever is more passionate, right? And the electrical system is what you're in charge of. Yep. And you were more passionate, so I was like, okay. I thought it was gonna work great. I was like, do what you, like, I was like, yep, good, good. You are excited about it, I'm not gonna. I said, this is my opinion, but you know what? You're more passionate, we'll go with you, whatever. Not, it wasn't a huge conflict, it was chill. Um, but the thing is. When we went to go hook it up. That's not Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Jacob didn't fully read all the specs about it. And this is the part where, where we effed up. Where so, we went to go hook in our solar panels to the charge controller. The charge controller we got, it can ho handle up to 800 watts of solar, but only 100, 100 volts. volts. We have over 100 volts, which is the problem. So we had to buy a new one. Yeah. It would shut down every time we exceeded more than four solar panels, because by the and time we, we added the fifth, it would shoot over 100. And yeah. we have six. Six. So we figured out that that's the problem. We ordered a new one. I mean, other than that, it works great. Yeah, <laughs> other than that. But here's also the thing. I have officially moved back to Connecticut with Winnie and the bus, Franklin, yep. because my lease was up, but Jacob's job is not up for another three months, and a short-term lease with a dog would have been a stupid... Absolute nightmare. Th ...decision to try and go to. So came back here to my home, my childhood home in Connecticut. Um, but the charge controller arrived right after I left, so I'm taking Jacob back home tomorrow, or today. 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 I'm taking him back home today and I will come back with the new charge controller and install it myself. So the next video will be the full explanation of our system because it'll all be done and installed. But that's why the full system isn't in this video because no. this is what it currently looks like. Absolute disaster. Like. However, it does work. It does work. It's just not exactly what we wanted. Also, I cracked the screen of my camera, and I'm really sad about it. But you can't um, tell that. Well, you, we they can. they can't see that. It's, oh, yeah, we, we I know it's cracked, and it makes me really sad. So that's the update. Um, and if you want to know how charged our batteries are, they're at 223 amps. It's super sunny here right now, so it's great. Yeah, yeah. So, yep. So also, now the videos from now on, you won't get, like, Jacob mm. in it that much. Um, You're welcome. Sorry about that. <laughs> But we have less than three months to finish this bus if we want to leave right after Jacob's job is done. So, fingers crossed. If you want daily updates, follow on Instagram and TikTok. The links will be down below. Um, yeah. Should we show them that we have power though with the light? No, I want to get show them the next video because that'll be the full explanation and you Ooh. know, surprise. Ooh. Keep them, keep them in intrigued keep them keep them coming back you know these we'll are our turn light. this light on these are our time. lights look how tiny they are i thought they were going to be bigger but they let out so much light it do. doesn't even matter okay um bye bye i'll see you next week jacob will not show she had and you will see the light okay <laughs> okay bye bye